What's up guys, XX Bulldog here, coming back at you with a brand new video, and today we're doing a gaming discussion on the PlayStation 5 and rumors that are surrounding it. So, to kick off, um, before we just start this, I'd like to say that I am really excited for this, and I hope it does come out as soon as possible, because I am a huge fan of PlayStation, and never really have had an Xbox, because I've never really been an, a Microsoft fan on that part of their company. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this. So to kick off the list, um, it is rumored that the PlayStation 5 will be backwards compatible with the PlayStation 4 and maybe even the 3, the 2, and the least possible, the 1. Um, so this is just a rumor that's been speculated and I think that would be awesome if they did that because the PlayStation 4 does not have backwards compatibility that's actually like like real and good. But the PlayStation 5 could have that with the PlayStation 4, 3, 2, and 1 to make up for that. And then they'd have a steady competition against the Xbox One on terms of backwards compatibility. Next up, we have that it will come out at the end of 2018. This is not what I personally think will happen. I personally think that it will probably come out sometime in 2019 because we haven't heard anything about it in anything on the PS5 other than a few statements that it's going to happen eventually. Um, but yeah, moving on to our next point, we have that they will up re like kind of like make a new VR to go with the PlayStation 5. I would really like this. I think that the PlayStation VR is a really cool idea and a really cool thing. Um, I never got it personally, but if I do get the money for it, I will get it. And if it's not, a new one isn't with the PlayStation 5, it's not going to be at, be able to compete with other VR providers. And even though that doesn't go for consoles still, it would be really nice if they did this. Next up, for the next rumor that we have, it is um, that the PlayStation 5 will be more powerful than the Xbox One X, which is coming out late 2017. Now, at E3, they said that it'll be the most powerful console uh, at, against the rest of them. That includes the PS4, the Xbox One S, I mean, the X. And um, the PlayStation 5, if it, when it does come out, it needs to beat that for it to be a steady competitor to the Xbox One X and for people to choose it. Okay, so the next rumor that we have Kind of contradicts what I said before, um, but it'll be less powerful than the Xbox One X, but substantially cheaper. Now, this interests me because, like, the Xbox One X will probably be pretty expensive. And if it's more, like, if it's not as expensive, then, I mean, I guess that would compete against it because people might choose that maybe they don't need the most powerful console and they just want a lower price. All right, so... The next rumor is that the PlayStation 5 could be priced at around 450 to like 500 or even $550. Um, I'm pretty sure that that is what the um, uh, Xbox One X is supposed to be. Maybe it's 500. I do not remember exactly. Um, but yeah, if we're not, if the PlayStation 5 and Sony doesn't choose to go for the lower price but the less powerful, then they'll go for the most powerful but a higher price um and uh yeah so it should be around what the uh playstation 5 i mean the xbox one x costs so that's gonna wrap up the video for today um comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video of course peace out guys